So I recently uploaded a video about my little dog Tino getting a group four placement. Now all my dog show friends knew exactly what that meant, where my non-dog show friends were like, what's a group placement? I'm gonna teach you in layman's term what a dog show is all about. I get it. Anyone that knows me knows when it comes to sports, I don't know jack squat. I don't. Well, okay, I know a little more than jack squat. There's football, there's basketball, soccer, hockey, baseball, cribbage. Or is that, is that a card game? Lacrosse, yeah. What I do know about team sports, there are team colors, and there's always some kind of bracket thing. It takes all season to get to that bracket thing. Dog showing is a sport. It is. When I try to explain dog shows to people that don't understand dog shows, it's probably very similar to somebody trying to explain a basketball game to me or a football game or if cribbage is a sport what you do with the ball? This whole March Madness thing. You have all these teams and it's a process of elimination and you get down to your final four. And I realized using March Madness as my explanation is totally the way to go. Here we go. This is the breakdown of what we do every dog show or every single individual breed that has representation process of elimination remember that march madness people we have brackets too there's four levels to our brackets first level it's breed classes this is where the winning dog gets points towards its champion title within each breed the classes compete first. These are dogs that do not have a champion title and are working to get that champion title. To have a champion title, that would be a little CH in the front of its name, it has to have earned 15 points with two major wins under three different judges. You enter your dog in one of seven classes. You have six to nine months, nine to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, then you have the novice class, which means this particular dog has yet to win three first place, three blue ribbons. Then you have the bred by exhibitor class. That means the dog that has entered was actually being exhibited, being shown by the person that bred it, that made it. Then you have the Ambred or American bred, which basically means it was bred in America. The final class is open class. And that is any dog that doesn't fit in any of those first categories. And depending on the breed, it could be broken down by size. It could be broken down by coat. It could be broken down by color. Each one of those classes can be awarded first through fourth place. The dog that gets first place or gets a blue ribbon in each one of those classes then goes in to compete for winner's dog. Winner's dog gets a purple ribbon. That's the dog that gets the points. The judge will pick the winner's dog and then the reserve winner's dog. After we do all of that with all the dogs, we repeat the process all over again, this time with the bitches. So I suppose now would be the right time to mention, I am using the word dog in general, but in the dog show world, we refer to male dogs as dogs and female dogs as bitches. As I said, we repeat that process, same exact thing, same exact classes to get our winner's bitch and our reserve winner's bitch. The winner's dog and the winner's bitch go in to compete for the second level, and that would be best of breed. Champion dogs and champion bitches go in to compete for best of breed. From all of the dogs that are entered, the judge picked the following, the best of breed. From the winner's dog and winner's bitch, the judge selects the best of winners. The next would be best opposite sex. That would be the best opposite sex to best of breed. So if a dog is selected as best of breed, the judge would then pick the best bitch. After that, 
the judge gets to select a select dog and select bitch. Select dog and bitch is a champion that is a fine representation of the breed. If you're watching my channel, you must be either into dog shows or want to learn about them or could just be intrigued. So follow along, subscribe because you will definitely learn more about dog shows the more videos you watch. And then get your butt back here because this is just part one. Yep, I've split this into two episodes because I know this is a lot of information to take in. So study up on this episode and watch for the second later in the week. Don't forget to subscribe and then click that little bell so you know exactly when part two has been uploaded.